We know the drill by now. We're doing difficult GCSE maths questions that I'm just grabbing off a ad tutor. So you may find these questions difficult, you may find them easy, but what I'm really trying to do with these questions is just make sure that they have a bit of something different in them. You know, a question that makes you go, huh, that's not what I've seen before. How am I gonna do this? So they're not necessarily the longest questions. They're not necessarily the questions with the most marks or with a million lines of algebra. It's more just questions that kind of have something a bit different in them. Because the more of these that you see, the better prepared you will be in your exam. You know, those end questions that they're really trying to throw students off with. So let's get cracking and get prepared for that exam. So this question says, the solutions to a quadratic equation, a squared plus b x plus c equals zero, which we're so used to by now, is given below. And then we get some crazy sir. What are the values of a, b, and c? Right, so it's a bit weird, isn't it? Because we're used to kind of being given an equation and then them saying, right, here's a quadratic equation, give me the values of x. So that would be the standard bit of knowledge, which I'm sure most GCSE math students can do. It's then the way that they test it that is a bit more difficult. So if I told you that there's actually no new knowledge needed here, it's just kind of doing it in a slightly different way. So if we were to have this in, you know, we had some numbers here and we go, right, find x. What One of the ways you could do this is you could say, well, you know what? I can use the quadratic formula here. So I could say that x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I swear I've done that in the past like three videos now. So, and then, you know, you'd put your values in, get your answers, everyone's a winner. Look at this. We've already got the answers here. We have x equals 9 plus minus the square root 441 over minus 30. Hmm, can we see any relationship with these two things, right? We've got a quadratic equation. We got these as our answers, but wait a minute, this just exactly corresponds to the quadratic formula, doesn't it? Because look, we've got a number out front, which would be our minus b. We've got a plus minus a square root, which would be our b squared minus 4ac inside it, all over a number, which would be our 2a. So all we actually have to do here is just compare each little component of this expression, work out the values of a, b, and c, and I'm done. So let's look at this minus nine. The mi not, not the minus nine, the nine. The nine should correspond to what? Minus b. In other words, nine equals minus b. Straight away, I've got my value b, minus nine. So I think that's gonna help us. Now, I'm not gonna do this bit quite yet because it's got a load of unknowns in, and I think it'd be a better idea to see if we can get some easier equations first, then jump into the harder stuff when I've got less unknowns. What do I mean by that? I mean, it's much better for me to say, 2a, thing on the bottom, is equal to minus 30 first. Why? Because there's only one unknown in this equation. So straight away I get a, divide both sides by two and I get minus 15. That's useful because now when I write the thing inside the square root, in other words, b squared minus 4ac equals 441, if I did this at the start, there'd be three unknowns and I would be lost. But now I've got my value of b, it's minus nine, Got my value of a, it's minus 15. So now there's only one unknown in here. All right, I think I'm gonna just need to clean this one up a bit. So minus nine all squared is the same as nine squared. And the reason is because I'm basically times in these minuses out and they cancel. I get minus nine times or minus nine. So it's gonna be positive 81. Minus four times minus 15. Again, two negative signs cancel each other out. Four times 15 is 60. So that's 60 lots of C. All of that is going to equal 441. So you don't need to do this in your head, but I believe that 441 minus 81, if you think about it, 81 is like 41 at 40. So the 41 would make that go down to 400. Take another 40, that would make it go down to 360. Divide both sides by 60. 360 over 60. So if you want, you can cancel a zero to get 36 over six which is equal to six. So I actually think that's my final answer. Let's just write it all out, you know, give the examiner a nice time, right? So I get A equals minus 15, B 
equals minus 9, and c equals 6. And that's it. Now, if you want to see more questions like this and this one and get full work solutions, head on over to AI Tutor, free to sign up, get cracking on some questions there.